scale is my sleeper shoe number three. 6.7 ounces, come on. Brilliant, just brilliant. Let's go into studio. Actually, the shoes, sleeper shoes 2022, what do I mean by that? I'll explain in one second, are over there. We'll pull them off the shelf here in a second. But first, good morning. How are you doing out there around the world watching in, I don't even know, Malaysia, Israel, Ecuador, uh, where else? South Africa. Actually, shout out to Brett. Thank you, Brett, for sending in photos last week for the ASICS Noosa Tri-14. As you all know, we're starting to source more photos, more durability predictions for the shoes over on the website. Here's a little sneak preview of those shoes. Okay, so thank you, Brett, for sending those in and everybody else that is doing so. Um, you can email them over to me if you have some shoes. Like I'm really, I'm looking for some Speedgoat 5 photos right now. Uh, what else, what else? I think maybe some Kinvara, no, not, not Kinvara. Uh, Saucony Endorphin Edge would be great as well. Anyway, if you have those shoes, sleeper. What do I mean by sleeper? These are shoes that are not getting a lot of press either from myself or the running world as a whole, okay? So they're just shoes that kind of get bumped down a couple tiers because they're not as popular and people don't know about them as much, but I think they're still really, really great shoes, okay? Uh, and they're doing the trick out there in the testing, out there in the running, out there in the training on the roads around the world. So for example, we're definitely not talking about any Rebel, any Nova, any Speed, any Speed Goat, any, I'm even gonna say the Endorphin Edge, even though it's a new shoe, so not as many people are familiar with it and maybe aren't posting it as much on Strava or wherever else, that, but it's still the Endorphin, like it is, starting to catch on. People are starting to pick it up. I'm noticing it on Strava on the Demore Global Running Strava group. So thanks for being a part of that group because it allows me to see, oh man, okay, yes. Edge is popping up. Um, you know, I've seen a ton of what else, what else? Uh, uh, Audios, actually interesting. Audios Pro 3 is really starting to pop up as well. So these three shoes, actually, I'm going to sneak a fourth in just because I can. Now, actually, let's start there right now. I love you, stability runners out there. It is the Saucony Tempest. However, I almost did not include this shoe because it is starting to catch on. People are starting to notice, ooh, Saucony nailed it here. They're starting to, so there it is, Saucony Tempest. It's a stability. Let's do the twist test, okay? Twisting, but not, I'm putting a lot of force into that. It's dual density midsole foam, that power run midsole foam right there, and then power run PB underneath, but it wraps the medial side, the inside of the shoe, and the lateral side. See how it just goes right up there on, this, on the uh, outer wall of both on the inside and the outside, just to provide a little more stability through your foot strike. So Saucony Tempest is shoe number one. I would race in this shoe any day of the week for half marathon or marathon if I needed a little help through my gait cycle to keep me lined up nice and straight. Moving on, oh, we'll go here. Uh, I haven't forgotten about you. Uh, Zero Drop fans, Ultra in the house, the Rivera 2. I love Zero Drop for those recovery days. It just, you can notice it. When you run in Zero Drop versus four millimeter, six millimeter, 10 millimeter definitely, over time, the more shoes that you test and you put on your feet, you will notice a difference in the slope. So the drop is the slope in the shoe. So from heel to toe, how much does it drop down? Okay, that's why it's called the drop or the offset, also known as the offset. And the Ultra Vera 2 really did the trick for me. I was a little surprised in 2022. I tested this, I think in January or February. All these full reviews are linked below in the description. So sleeper shoe number, really number one, is the Ultra Rivera 2. Actually, let's remind ourselves, very lightweight. I'm can't, I, you know, ooh, I'm going, ooh, man, ooh, I don't remember actually. 7.9 maybe? I think it's actually even lighter than that. 7.7 .7 ounces in my size. Uh, but the durometer was a little more firm than I expected. It was like upper 40s. Let me just find a, oh, this is a tough midsole. There's not a really flat spot. Ah, anyway, we'll try the back here. Okay, I'm getting like a 35. I don't know if it's actually that soft. It's really hard to find a flat spot on here. Bottom line, Ultra Rivera 2, very pleased. Nimble, uh, strong, have a strong foot strike, and a good 
three to eight mile type of shoe, okay? I wouldn't take it past eight miles. Just getting good miles in and stretching out those legs with a leaner midsole. Mm, River Ultra Rivera 2 is sleeper shoe number one. Sleeper shoe number two, here we go. Oh, come on, come on, Adidas SL 20.3. And this, I do, I think this is upper 40s for the durometer. Let's just go there. 51, I'm getting right there. And then, so a little bit of a, on the firmer side, 49 right there. Price point, unbelievable. $110, whoa. And let's do the weight. Hold on, let's zero this out. One second, tear, there we go. I th I'm 7.3. Oh, even lighter than the Rivera 2. That's amazing. And look at that outsole. I know some people that have been... That, why would you get the SL 20.3? Lightweight, daily trainer, affordable, and that durometer allows that midsole to just have a little more lifespan and very comfortable heel counter. I know a lot of people think I don't like Adidas shoes. I like the SL 20.3. Actually, I mean... I. I'm a little set. I think it should have gotten maybe even a slightly better score than I gave it. There's the full review score right now. I'm excited for the SL 20.4. See what they do moving forward with this lineup. It's not, it's no bells and whistles, okay, through that upper. It is a nice, it's a comfy heel counter though. Mm. I don't, you know, a lot of people don't talk about this shoe. SL, I'm telling you, buy, I would I would stock up. And if you just want, you know, if you're kind of a higher mileage, especially person, and you want to save, here you go. You want to save your Rebels, your Novas, your Speeds for special miles, but you want to just knock out the daily miles. Maybe, you know, maybe easy days. It wouldn't be my first choice for an easy day shoe, but just kind of, uh, you don't really care what you do in the shoe. Whereas you might want to save the Speed 3 or the Rebel, you know, especially that Rebel midsole is so soft. You might want to save those daily miles for this guy. Oh my goodness, SL 20.3, there you go. And last but not least for the sleeper road running shoe, specifically in 2022, is the A6. I apologize last week, thanks for calling me out. I'll always call myself out, I made a mistake. Uh, here we go, A6 Evo Ride 3. This is the Evo Ride, this is the Glide Ride. I accidentally grabbed this shoe, look how similar they look, A6, come on now. We got to diversify those uppers just a little bit more. I got tricked. Anyway, this is the glide. This, let me just double check. Yes, Evo Ride 3, let's put it on this scale, is my sleeper shoe number three. 6.7 ounces. Come on, Asics. That is what I'm talking about. So lightweight. Let's do the. Oh, man. Decent energy return for the thumb test. And I think we're looking at, I think we're looking at upper 30s or low 40s. Okay, I'm getting 47 there, 48, 49. So, okay, upper 40s, that's what it was. Um, so, again, higher, maybe a little higher durability for the midsole. I'm seeing zero creasing in the midsole after 50 miles of testing. Plush, plush uh, heel counter, heel tab, very comfortable. I'm telling you, okay, so the Noosa... As you know, as you know, there it is. I mean, we did the running shoe battle. I think it was last day. It was last week when I accidentally grabbed this shoe. Um, Noosa is more comfortable, especially through the upper. But I think the reason the Noosa is not a sleeper shoe is because I've been raving and raving and raving about it. And a lot of, actually, well, Brett picked it up down in South Africa. and But this guy, I just haven't talked as much about I'll watch out for this guy. So flight foam midsole, I should mention, through the Evo Ride 3, uh, light strike in the SL 20.3, Ultra Ego in the Ultra Rivera 2, and then we got that Power Run and Power Run PB in the Tempest. So excited. And again, um, everybody's going to buy the Rebel. Everybody's going to, okay. A lot of people are going to buy the Rebel, the Nova, the Speed. Those are kind of the go-to daily trainers within DGR at this point. But don't be afraid to branch out just a little bit more to some of these guys. Oh, the Mach, of course. The, and the Mach is another one that a lot of DGR runners pick up. All right? There you have it. Question of the day. What is your number one sleeper shoe for 2022? Number one, where it just, it's not as, you got you to gotta think a little bit more. What shoe is not being talked about 
but that you that you love. So it can't be the mock, can't be any of those that I've already mentioned, okay? That is the question of the day and comment of the day. Stephanie, you get it from uh, the, the vlog with True Love last week. She's getting back into it. She says, True Love's laugh is so contagious and authentic. I love seeing these real life moments. Stephanie, here's the laugh just one more time. <laughs> I know exactly why. <laughs> Come on, we'll end on that note. A little, uh, a, bil- a little belly laugh. Oh, she loves laughing, and it's that good old Irish, Irish spirit inside of her. So, hey, oh, we love you guys. We'll toss it to the. Ooh, do, 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 do. I don't know. I don't know. I don't think I've ever made another vlog for sleeper shoes. This is definitely something new on the channel. Uh, so we'll toss, we'll toss it to the road running shoe matrix, which many of you have already seen. Road running shoe matrix, right there, right there, right there. Have a great day, doorknob time. Hi, right. seek beauty, work hard, and love each other. See you tomorrow.